Today, I am going to talk about what if, as solopreneur, you need to call in sick. Uh, you know, not now, uh, there are a lot of um, increasing cases for COVID and um, haze also. People are getting um, sick these days. And I, I also do have friends who are falling sick every other day because uh, of the situation or of the weather. It's hot. Now it's, now it's raining on my side. I'm not sure about your side. My, my area is raining and it suddenly got a... Uh, sunny now <laughs> it was really heavily just now but it's now sunny so anyway um i want to talk about uh us solopreneurs um what if we fall sick what can we do what do we need to do so we need to understand that when we are running our own business we are the business we are in the business and when we fall sick, most of the time, the things that are on pending, you are not able to fulfill it because you are sick. And being sick sometimes, you know, as a solopreneur, we tend to just push forward. And I learned this mistake. I mean, when I was in my 20s, when I was in my 30s, I tend to just push myself forward because I feel that I could do it before because I feel that even being sick, I can do it, you know. Hey, Alma, my lighting <laughs> disappeared. Anyway, when I was in my 30s, right, I tend to still do my work even though I fell sick because I feel that um, resting is um, not for me. <laughs> I tend to keep on pushing and doing it. But uh, now that I'm in my 40s, I feel that this is something that it's very important to note and to rest when you are sick because if you were to push through tendency of you falling sick over and over and over and over like a ripple effect it's very high because that because you didn't fully rest you didn't fully um take uh one step back to understand your body what your body needs so that's when your sickness gets worse and worse you know when you run your own business right it's a very tough situation you know because you are you are depending on your business um 100 of your income and your revenue uh depend on you because you are the business you run in the business right so which actually is a very dangerous situation to be in when we fall sick sometimes we feel that we cannot take time off because if we do we will think that we will lose out an income you know, so we continue to work, like what I did. Okay, I am guilty of that. I continued to work even though my body is uh, was calling out for help, was calling out for rest. I still continue to do my work back then. Okay, and and like I mentioned just now, when you continue doing work when you are sick, it actually makes us function worse. And we will produce even more poorer results. So when that happens, it will go on a downward spiral. I've learned that there's three different category uh, when it comes to falling sick. Okay, not, not say not say the category of falling sick, but when you fall sick. So like for example, right? Uh you fall sick today. So you fall sick today, what what can you do today? Okay, you, you imagine you wake up. You wake up today in the morning, you feel sick. First things first you need to do is to communicate. All right. If you do not have team members, if you do not have partner, communicate with your client. Uh, uh, tell them that, you know, that they are, they are, you are sick. More often than not, uh, your client will, will be more uh, empathetic. They understand the situation and they are willing to, you know, um, negotiate with you. But at the same time, you also need to give your client maybe an, uh, a, a gauge of how many days you will come back to them. So usually what I will do is um, I will uh, give them like a gauge number of days. So usually like two to three days because that's how I rest properly. 
okay so first things first is to communicate okay so when you when you communicate you need to tell the people that uh the things have to be rescheduled um be it meetings be it deadlines be it projects you know because people will understand change in plans changes in plans and um all they want is communication because if you keep quiet they are not they don't know what you are going through they cannot read your mind there will be more troubles or there will be more problems if they find out or, or maybe if if they've um if the deadline is not met so at least if you communicate they will be more empathetic and they will be uh, more willing to understand your situation so second one is to prioritize all right when i say prioritize right some things in your line of work cannot be moved Okay, because maybe it actually involves other parties right then and then. So I want to take example of one of my business buddy, uh, Liana. So last, just last week, I think she had sore throat and um, she had also in the throat. So she had to do uh, train the trainers program, which has already been assigned for, you know, for a long time. So that kind of situation cannot be postponed because it has already been arranged and it's actually a physical classes and stuff like that. Things that is in your calendar cannot be moved, then you prioritize that. But things like maybe meetings, answering emails, answering WhatsApp. So when you're already communicating and the first point, right? So these are the things that you can actually hold on for a while because you need to rest. So first thing just now I mentioned is to um, communicate with your client and then to prioritize your work and you have to also understand the kind of work that needs to be prioritized and the kind of work that can actually be pushed back all right so then after that is the rest rest that comes in or the recovery that comes in and this is very critical the actual rest the actual recovery because you are already sick today Okay, you are already sick today and usually the first day when you feel under the weather is actually the worst. Okay, so what I will do is I will reschedule all my calls. I will reschedule all my meetings and I will block out three days to recover fully. Because I believe that when you are sick, it's a way that your body is telling you to slow down. It's a way that your body is telling you to step back. Basically, you need to take recovery extremely seriously. No phone calls, no Zoom calls, no emails. If you can actually do an autopilot on some of the things, go ahead and actually do it. So, when you are sick today, take a proper at least three days to recover. Um, uh, eat well drink plenty of water um if you need to do like you know some some people um when they are sick they like to read so you can do that as well it takes time to do things that you couldn't do when you are so busy with work you know like for me i'm guilty at not reading a lot so when i fall sick it's also a time for me to uh, look back and um Maybe you'll do some journaling, uh, maybe do some reading. So these are some of the uh, <laughs> things that I don't really do when I on a red race. Like I do a lot of work when I'm not sick. Okay, so uh, it's very important uh, to take time off and listen to what your body wants. So these are the three things that I usually do when I know that I fall sick today. So imagine, right? Now is another like category, okay? So now imagine uh, the first day you already done, already done the communication, you already done the prioritization, you already done the resting. And tomorrow you wake up, you still feel sick, okay? What can you do tomorrow? So what usually I will do is I will update people. So I will update my client as well that just, just inform them that you are still sick probably you need another day to really rest so then after i update the uh, my client i will review what's needed to be done so usually for me um second day usually i will feel slightly better 
than compared to the first day. I will review what I need to do. So for example, right, yesterday I've already prioritized my uh, filming, let's say. I already prioritized my filming, but uh, I'm supposed to start on the editing. Can I? Then you ask yourself, can I sit down and do the editing at this point of time? If not, you don't have to do it. You can always come back later. So always review um, the things that you can actually do um, on the second day or the tomorrow when you actually wake up the, ne uh, the next morning. And then you see what else you can do. Like for example, you maybe you can reply emails. Go ahead and do that. So it's something that um, you are telling your body that, okay, I am a little well this uh, today. So I will do a little bit of work, but not so much of work. Okay, that needs maybe brain power or something like that. You still need to recover. So then... Uh, comes in the rest as well. So you, you imagine that the second day also you are still sick, right? So again, rest. Okay. Um, for me, three days usually is the uh, max that I will take for rest. The second day, if I still feel sick, I will still rest. And um, when, especially when you have flu, right? Flu, if you don't if you don't rest enough, it will actually have a spiral effect or a wave effect. You know, it will actually, you, you can actually feel worse. The most important is to hydrate yourself because when you are sick, your body is, you know, um, it's weak. So you need to drink a lot of, uh, plenty of uh, water and eat, definitely eat uh, good food, um, sleep, very important. You know, sometimes, right? Um, I just feel for me personally, I'm not sure about you. For me, when I fall sick, it's because I don't have enough sleep. I am <laughs> sleep deprived sometimes. Um, I tend to push my body a lot, which is not good. Okay, it's not good. Um, uh, especially when, for me, when I'm already past the mid middle age <laughs> okay when I, i'm already in my middle age i realize my body needs more sleep than ever compared to my when i was 39 last time so i try to prioritize sleep so that i can actually um, not fall sick easily yeah uh, for example last time my bed i can uh in when i was in 39 i can maybe sleep uh, three four hours you know now sometimes i just need a good six hours sleep and i'm fine you know um so basically i try to change my habit so really really understand um what your body needs as well okay so now we have covered uh what you should do today when you fall sick and then we have covered what you need to do the, the day the day after which is actually the tomorrow when you wake up and you still feel sick so now what should you do in the future because falling sick is not sometimes like it's a one one off thing right uh, falling sick is sometimes where uh, you can you can it can happen anytime um you know uh, sometimes you don't have enough sleep you don't you don't uh, take care of your body you don't uh, your stress sometimes also can lead to falling sick. So it's very important uh, to know, to note what should you do in the future to prevent yourself from falling sick or maybe from falling uh, uh, sick in terms of worse than what you have experienced. Okay, so um, in the future, I would advise to, you know, outsource your, some of your work so for example um myself okay i outsource my editing and i outsource my filming so i know if i happen to you know fall sick on that day i have team members or i have my freelancers that i can fall back on to cover the filming to cover the edit editing some of the things like calls like meetings uh, i don't really outsource that because i am still the business i'm i run the business i run in the business right so calls and meetings are harder to outsource but things like for example for me uh, my editing my filming i can actually outsource that so in your own business in your own business model find out what are the things you can outsource outsource that um, have 
all this in place as a, as part of your strategy because you'll never know when you fall sick the next time. So when you have this outsourced, then you don't really have to worry. Um, you just focus on, you don't have, I wouldn't say you don't really have to worry, but when you fall sick, right, you don't feel guilty as much because you already outsource your work. You just need to follow up with the people that you have outsourced to. Okay, so in the future, um, think about outsourcing because it's very important to outsource um, uh, things that you cannot outsource, you don't have to, but in your business, find out what are some of the areas that you can outsource as well. Okay, so next one is to build contingency or strategies. I would say build strategies. I like to schedule my work. Um, I like to uh, batch create my work. So for example, um, uh, YouTube videos, uh, writing, and uh, the, especially content creation, I will actually schedule one month ahead. I will create, uh, I will batch create one month ahead just in case things happen. Maybe I fall sick, I couldn't actually do it. So when you want to build contingency, right? When you want to build um, strategies, it takes uh, spend some time to build it. Very important when you fall sick, always have these three um, areas to cover and definitely prevention is better than cure, right? So what I would actually share with you is when, um, uh, I wouldn't say when you fall sick, yeah. Uh, what I can share with you is take care of your health, uh, sleep well, um, have enough sleep in that sense, have enough sleep, eat well, drink lots of water, add in supplements if you need to. Like for me, I'm now 40s, I, I have to include my other supplements as well, you know, the vitamin D, vitamin C, but always, always check with your GP if you actually, uh, uh, it's a good to go for you to take in the supplements, okay? So don't just um, blindly follow people when they say um, they include uh, supplements to their diet or something like that. Always refer back to your own um, your own diet, refer back to your own lifestyle. And if you can't, you know, for me, I always like to go for um, runs in the morning, but if you are not able to do that and you are not someone who can do run, you can find out those all this very simple stretching in the morning. Follow the YouTube links. It's very, uh, very easily assessed these days. Follow all this. At least you are moving your body. You perspire a little bit to keep yourself um, healthy, keep your body healthy. And, and, and for me, when I do all these exercises, right, it ha it gives me these endorphins, you know, and then I will actually activate my creative brain, which is actually my right brain. So yeah, these are all the things that I do to prevent myself from falling sick easily. It's very important to understand your body as well, okay? So, all right, so I see you next week. Next week, I want to talk about um, what are some of the things that you need to take note of before you become a YouTube creator. I think this is something that um, I want to cover actually today, but I I decided to talk about this topic because of um, uh, a lot of news that's uh, um, a lot of things that I read in the news about the COVID cases that's increasing. We have the haze right now. Weather is not, the weather is also not very predictable sometimes. At one moment, it's raining heavily, <laughs> and another moment, it's sunny, like now, my area. So, have a good one. Have a good Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, yes. Have a good Wednesday and have a good weekend ahead. So, I'll see you again next week. Bye.